Now that we're in test ops, we're able to utilize our test efforts to shed light on a wide range of important topics. The ones that I'll be demonstrating for you will revolve around the Dashboard, Test Execution, and Reporting tab. We'll start in the Dashboard, which gives us a bird's eye view of our project's testing efforts, and based off what I can see from the widgets, there seems to be quite a few problems in regards to our test case. Probably more important than all of that is the fact that our test cases seem to have more errors and actual failures. So we'll need to go into the Report tab to drill down and find out what's going on. To get to the reports, we simply need to select the Top Center tab, Reports, and once there, we want to select the Summary by Test Results. The reason why we want to go into the uh, Summary is so that we can actually narrow down and start finding out what test suites are causing all of these errors. So I'll scroll down a little bit. And as we can see, uh, reflected in a little bit more of a day-by-day -day perspective, we can see all the errors that are taking place. Uh, so what we're able to do here is filter them by test suite, and we're going to go simply one by one and start seeing if there's any problems. So it looks like everything is working fine outside of that one uh, failure in the logout. Let's look at the login. Same thing, but you know, still there are some failures, but we're looking for those errors. Here we go. Okay, so the view candidate snapshot is the one that has the majority of the errors that are taking place every single day. Again, we are looking at this from a configuration problem at this point, not so much the, uh, the actual test cases failing. Uh, but for us, we are going to want to go into our test cases and simply find the last iteration of this test. As we are lucky to find out, the last time it uh, the last test to execute was in fact this test case, and we can go into and learn a little bit more about the problems. So as we can see here in our test results, a lot of them, if not all of them, if we scroll down further, uh, have in fact errors. Uh, if we wanted to look at it, we can start seeing here in this little uh, pop-up window. And if we were to look at the summary of it, it seems like the test case itself is misplaced. So some user uh, probably moved it. Should be a good point in time to tell you that uh, test ops does have user-based permission. So these problems don't really have a chance to happening if you, you know, give people the permission of you know, like admins. But you know, this is a real environment. This happens. Things happen. So what we're going to do now is that we can actually, once if we were to have the JIRA integration added on, we can create a defect right now and send it over to uh, our JIRA instance, where another user, whoever it assigns to, can recreate this test case and can you know put it back into the test suite, and we can actually start having a more uh, clearer view on the health status of our application. Now that we helped diagnose one of the problems with the amount of errors in our testing, we can start working on our own assignments of creating a new test case against our healthcare website by utilizing Catalan Studios.